Emily. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's a very exciting day, okay? Very, very, very exciting day. So last year between the months of October, November, December, I can't remember exactly what month it was. Your girl attempted going for 315 for deadlifts. I was still, I was, I wouldn't say I was like new to lifting, but I was like, it was my first year of like lifting, lifting. I failed. I think I hit 300 or 305 was my PR. So today, now that I am more advanced, I'm just kidding. We're going for 315 today and I'm super, super excited, but I'm also super, super nervous, but I feel like just all morning or like since yesterday, I've just been like in the mindset of like, here, we're going for a PR, we're going for a PR, we're going for a PR. We're drinking our favorite drink which is the monster strawberry lemonade we're eating a fiber one bar because i didn't feel like having a rice crispy square today going to the gym with bay he's gonna film it he's gonna film it for me we're gonna make it happen we're gonna make it happen we had some oatmeal in the morning just for some extra carbs i made sure to carb up last night fully hours of sleep i'm well rested i'm so excited let's go freaking get this pr I feel like throwing up. I am so nervous right now. I didn't get it last year when we got it this year. 
Let's go. I didn't even hear about that. That was amazing. That was immaculate. I don't even know what's happening right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was amazing. Oh my god. Let's go. Oh my god. I'm literally shaking. I that is the best feeling I've ever felt in my entire life, bro. If you want something bad enough, you are going to make it happen. Do not let self doubt get in the way, bro. The entire time I was like, you are getting this, you are getting this. There's no exception. I don't even know how to feel right now. I am so excited. Okay, so it's now been almost a week since I hit my 315 PR. So looking back at the video, hitting 315, I know it might not be a big deal to a lot of people. There's a lot of people that have hit 315 before. For a lot of people, it, it's a long term goal just like it was for me and I just feel like everyone has their own journey right and hitting 315 was like a huge 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 deal to me because it was something that I wanted for so long and it was something that seemed so far like out of my reach and like out of my like capability of doing so the fact that I was able to hit it was just like oh, it was just like a dream come true I like for the rest of that day I could not stop smiling I felt like I was on top of the world I felt like I was freaking invincible like nothing and no one was like gonna ruin my mood because I just like was genuinely just so proud of myself. So looking back at my lift, so the weight did move super, super slow. So what happened was when I hit 305, um, like off camera, obviously I didn't like film myself, but I like sat down with Jason for a second. I was like, break like that moved super, super slow. Like if 305 is already moving super slow, like I don't know if I'm gonna be able to hit 315. And so self doubt was like already starting to like creep into my head. And self doubt is such an ugly thing. It freaking sucks it's like these thoughts in your head telling you that you aren't good enough you're not gonna make it you're not strong enough like all these negative thoughts and I made a post on Instagram today actually talking about self-doubt and how as much as self-doubt sucks and it is really hard to sometimes turn off those thoughts in your head as powerful as negative self-doubt thoughts are you are the only one that has the power to turn that off and I know sometimes it can seem probably impossible because once they start creeping in it's super hard to turn them off but you're the one that needs to learn how to turn those thoughts off So what was happening was when I hit the 305 like instantly my like self-doubt thoughts were like coming through my head I was just like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to hit 315 305 already felt super super heavy, but like instantly I was just like no it's like break off like you are you aren't welcome here And I was just like I got back in my groove I turned on I like switched my song to like put me in a good mood and it was just positive thoughts Like you got this you got this like and it was just like a lot of like me envisioning me succeeding so I was just like, just imagine what you're gonna look like when the bar, when you're like fully extended and you're like holding the weight and like how you're gonna feel when you're celebrating after. And so when I went for the 315, I like lifted the bar and obviously you could see the weight moved so slow. It was like the longest lift I've ever had in my entire life. So once I was like midway, I, for a second, I was just like, bro, you're not gonna drop this. Like, like you are not taking no for an answer right now. I wanted that lift so bad so bad and so that's why I fought so freaking hard for it anytime you're going for a PR if you want it bad enough you are going to push through it you have to give it your all you can't quit you can't just be like oh no this is kind of heavy I think I'm gonna just drop the weight because that's easier no you like have to push through it and that's what I did and I just like I couldn't believe it and I'm still just like in so much shock and awe and just like super super proud and like I said 315 might not be a big deal to a lot of people but to me that was just like a huge moment in my fitness journey because like I said 315 before it just seemed like a crazy goal like there's no way I could hit 315 I think the reason why I was just like generally so happy that it happened was because I kind of just like proved to myself that like if I want something bad enough I can make it happen and that's exactly what you can do too if you want something bad enough it doesn't matter how long it takes you it took me one year to hit 315 no matter how long it takes you to reach your goal if every single day you're working a little to reach that goal eventually you're gonna hit it and when you hit it you're gonna feel so freaking good and so freaking proud because you know that you worked hard hard for it and you made it happen. Don't doubt yourself. Literally just do not doubt yourself. Believe that you can do it. Envision yourself succeeding and it just it just 
goes uphill from there. Thank you so, so much for watching my video. If you're new here, I would love, love, love if you subscribed, enjoyed my little fitness YouTube that I'm trying to grow. I would love if you gave this video a big thumbs up in a way to cheer me on for making my lift. And until next time, keep believing in yourself. Do not doubt yourself. And if you want something bad enough, you can make it happen. I will see you in my next video. Bye. Three play gig, baby. Let's go.